from the start of the stage to the stars most boxers recognize, especially if they're novices like these characters. Still, what these boxing chimps of Bertram Mill Circus lack in big fight experience, they balance with ingenuity. A sure sign of inexperience. It's far better to stay in the referee's good books. Here's another way to antagonize him. However, as the referee is also the chimp's trainer, he makes allowances for their lack of ring etiquette, especially when they're being egged on by Janet, the nurse. Why do these women always interfere? Seconds out. The atmosphere is tense as the fighters come together. At the weigh-in, Billy, seven years old, scaled eight stone, four pounds, an advantage of nearly a stone in weight and two years in age. And already it looks as though Peppy is in trouble. Referee William Lenz of Holland controls the bout firmly, in strict adherence to Marcus of Queensbury rules, although these scrappers have little respect for the finer points of the noble art. Sparring for an opening, now the boxers are really on their toes. Cleverly slipping the punches of his heavy opponent, Pepe tears into the attack. What a fighter! If the little un can box Billy and keep inside those powerful swings, he can sneak a points win. Uh, but he's getting badly mauled in those clinches. Still, he's fighting back gamely. Fifteen seconds to go before the end of the round, and Pepe drives Billy back under the ropes with some spirited counter-punching. Bobo, a ten-year-old veteran, gives Pepe a few tips while Billy's quite happy with the professional-like attention he's getting from Janet. But the timekeepers are obviously new to this job. Seconds out. Uh, would someone please tell that chap to sit down? The people at the back can't see. Round two. And determined to make use of his physical advantages, Billy crowds Peppy under the ropes. Yeah, you great bully. Both are feeling the effects of the grueling pace, but Peppy is really in trouble. And he's down. From a ponderous right swing to the head. The timekeepers are too excited to bother about the formality of a count. But in any case, Pepe is flat out and in need of medical attention. A brief examination by Dr. Bobo finds no sign of injury. And although the defeat means a setback in Pepe's championship aspirations, there's no doubt he'll soon be making a comeback. In the meantime, it looks as though we have a worthy champion in Billy. If he can find some more weight, who knows, the heavyweight championship of the world may yet come back to Britain.